What's up tech heads and gamers, it's your boy Mello, E to the Z to the E. So today I am going to be bringing you guys uh, what I feel like is the best Android tablet of 2007 so far. So you guys might be saying, why the heck is this guy reviewing a tablet that's been out for two years? This tablet came out 2015 of November, but to me personally, with all the other tablet that has come out before it, or after it, I still feel like this tablet holds its own. So this is the NVIDIA Shield K1 tablet. Shield, it says right here. Um, I love this device. So this is the OG Nexus 7 second gen tablet, rest in peace, uh, because Google stopped supporting this. But this was my daily driver, my go-to little tablet. It's so small, you can hold in one hand. Um, and when Google announced that it was going to su stop supporting this, a lot of people's heart were broken, including mine. Um, but I personally feel like this tablet right here is the successor to that tablet because as you can see, it looks just like it. But not only that, um, it's also bigger. So the Nexus 7, 7, known for 7 inch screen. This has an 8-inch eight, eight screen, but as you can see, 8-inch screen, wow, that's hard to say. Um, but as you can see, it feels really good in the hand. You can still palm this with one hand, and it's still really comfortable. Um, so you guys might be asking uh, why I'm picking this as my favorite tablet, Android tablet for 2017. So stick stick. Uh, through the whole review and you'll find out why there's a lot of things that this does really well and I love the form factor of it just being so small being so tiny but yet um, having a good screen I mean eight inches I feel like is is a perfect screen for a tablet it's not too small it's not too big it's just right in the middle um, and then the game capability being able to play games with a control on this device no other um, Android device does that um, as, as good as this. So as you guys know, Google released the Pixel C uh, tablet, which I did a review on, and uh, several people didn't like what I had to say about that. I Again, that's a great tablet, but not for the price. Um, this, I feel like if you can find one, it's completely sold out everywhere, but if you can find one of these, um, I believe it's $199 for this. Um, the, the downside to that is it doesn't come with a charger, but if you have a normal USB uh, charger um, with your old you know, cell phone, smartphone, you can just use that to charge this. Um, but that's the only uh, downside about this. When you get it, it doesn't come with um, a charger but then also it used to when this was originally announced 2015 it came with a stylus um, but now it doesn't come with it um, so this is currently sold out um, out of stock on the nvidia shield um, nvidia uh, store and on amazon people are selling this off the wazoo i saw some going for like 500 um, because you can't find this, you know, anywhere. So it's, it's very rare right now. It's, it's kind of a hot item. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Enough talking. So um, physical, uh, the physical design of this, I think, is, is a sexy beast. It doesn't try to do too much. But at the same time, it's, it's sleek. It's sturdy. I mean, this is a device that you can probably drop. Um, and it wouldn't like, you know, of course the screen might shatter, but it's it's a very durable device. Now, as you can see here, um, the screen kind of gets scratched. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, yeah, right there. Uh, but I think this is a Gorilla Glass 3 screen. Um, it's pushing a 1080p resolution, um, which is really... I think it's pretty good for the screen size. I mean, the Nintendo Switch is only pushing a 720p, and that came out what two years after. Um, so for this to be able to be pushing a 1080p uh, screen, I think is is, and as you guys can see, it looks really good too. Um, <clears throat> so again, let's just conclude with the physical. Um, it has an HDMI uh, out port out so if you want to connect this to your tv it's uh 
micro mini HDMI port. So if you have that, you can just plug it in here and display it on your TV. Um, again, it uses a normal USB port, has a headphone jack up here. Um, something I love about this device is it has dual um, speakers. So it's it sounds really nice and I'll probably play something for you guys um, so you can hear it. But dual speakers, it's not... Um, it's not like blocked. It feels, it sounds really good and it feels really good. So speakers here, speakers here, speakers here, and speakers here. Um, really cool. Has a front facing camera and the back facing camera. I believe the front facing camera is two megapixels right up here. And the back facing camera is five megapixels. Um, so good overall design, great uh, specs for the uh, tablet that came out two years ago. Um, my last reason why I'm claiming this as the king of the Android tablet in 2007 is the fact that this has the latest Google, um, OS running on it, the Nougat. So again, this is a device that came out two years ago and it currently has, uh, Android 7.0. You guys can see that right here. Nougat. That is a huge deal. You guys see that right there, 7.0. There's been tablets that came out, you know, way after this and already lost the port. <coughs> Samsung, <coughs> Samsung LG. <coughs> yeah, so Samsung, as you guys know, um, their uh, Galaxy tabs, are good devices but when it comes to updating them they don't do a great job but again this has been out for two years and the support for this has been awesome and video has done a good job supporting this with the latest updates so that's another win for this okay so again when it comes to an overall package with gaming multimedia uh, the form factor you can't lose with this device. So let's go to gaming, okay? So you open the NVIDIA Shield, uh, NVIDIA folder, and you have stuff like the Shield Hub, the Dabbler. Again, if you have the stylus, you can use it to paint and color. You have Shield accessories to connect um, controllers to it. So I have my remote here, which I'm gonna con uh, connect in a bit to uh, show you guys what gaming is like with a controller. And then you have the shield camera. Uh, the shield console is if you plug this uh, to a TV with the HDMI, micro HDMI, you can uh, just, it projects the TV and that way you can just sit home controller and play. So the other cool thing about this is it has the game stream. So I'll show you guys, let's open the NVIDIA Shield Hub. So once you do this, you have access to the GeForce Now. Um, if it loads up for me, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so here we go. You get your Android games. You have your shop up here and you can see a huge library of games that you can play and all these games here support, most of them support the controller, um, which is pretty cool, pretty neat. So you have your new releases, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, you can see here, uh, this just came out several, couple of weeks ago top paid um so again nvidia customized some games on here like trying to doom 3 you can't find this in the normal uh android store it's made specifically for shield devices so you got you get that on here um and then you know top free and then this specifically has like controller support so games that support the controllers um, so you can actually play all these games right here with a controller, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then, so that's the game catalog. As you guys can see, really cool games. And so that's just the Android portion of this tablet. So if you go to GeForce Now, which is the streaming service, kind of like Netflix uh, for games, you pay $7.99 and you can... Uh, stream games on this device. So you have games like free. These are free once you remember Tomb Raider, Thief, Zeusy X, Sonic, All-Star, Transformers. So all these games right here are free if you remember. 
Um, and then you have games that you can purchase like No Man's Skies, The Witcher, Virginia, Lego Star Wars. All these games you can purchase and you can stream it instantly on this device. Um, let me, for some reason, it's not linked to my account. I don't know why. Uh, let's, let's see. Yeah, that's weird. Um, maybe it's because I haven't been on this device in a while, but let's see if we can link up my account. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, do, do, do. All right, well, we'll get to that later. You guys have seen some video on, on me running GeForce Now games on here. But again, just to show you guys, you have all these options of games that you can uh, play and stream. Um, so that's so you have the Android, then you have the GeForce Now games that you can play. And then game stream is if you have a PC. Hold on. I don't want you all to see my personal info. Um, okay, great. So these are the games currently that I have right now on my PC for Honor and Horizon Horizon. So all I have to do is just click on this and it should just start playing game streaming it. So I click this, my PC is in the living room. It sees it. <clears throat> And so I'm just going to put this in the dock, my case right here, so I can dock it. Okay, pull out my controller here, hit this button, syncs it. So all I have to click is play. All right, use the mouse and hit play. And boom, Verizon is playing on this device with my controller. Now you guys see what I mean by this is, um, use the preset. This is one of the best tablets right now for Android. Um, this is just a small portion of it. Again, you can use this controller for the GeForce Now. You can use this controller for the Android games. And then you can use it for game stream. Um, so the other cool thing is, you know, if you're traveling and you have the micro HD, micro HD MI port, you can just plug it into your TV and you'll, you can just set this up next to your TV, sit down on the couch and have a good gaming session, uh, with this controller. Um, it's optimizing for my PC. Uh, let's let this load up a bit and then now uh, we'll continue. So this is just gaming, and then I'm going to show you guys a little multimedia soon, running some Kodi uh, video add-ons, um, and also just some YouTube. Uh, videos look great on this display. So I'll just give you guys the specs of this device. It is um, It has a 2 gig of RAM processor. It's... Uh, 2 gig of RAM, I told you about the camera, 2 megapixel, 5 megapixel. It has a 5,200 mAh uh, battery. Um, it's rocking the te uh, Tegra K1. Uh, my biggest flaw is that it's not rocking the X1, which is what the NVIDIA Shield currently has, uh, TV currently has right now. I feel like if they update this device with the uh, X1 chip, that this definitely will be the best. It's already the best, but it'll be hard to compete with this. But so you guys can see, this is running off my PC using this controller right here. And it's it's solid. The graphics look great. The controller is great. This car just sucks. That's why um, it's sliding all over the place. Um, but as you can see, is streaming right now from my PC. So it's it's super dope, right? Super dope. Anyway, great game. Just gonna go back. Um, <clears throat> and the other cool thing I wanna show you guys is you can actually use, if you're a gamer and a streamer, you can use this device to actually stream to your Twitch. So you can broadcast um, 
if you click broadcast, you can broadcast the Twitch or you can like screen record here. Um, so it's it's currently dope that you can use this device to stream stuff to your Twitch account. Or you can just make videos to post on YouTube with this tablet. All right, so that's enough with the gaming uh, section. I'm just going to show you guys some multimedia stuff. Um, so here we go. So we open YouTube. Uh, my computer is just blowing really hard right now, so don't mind the noise. Um, it's I see. Look, look at the screen quality, guys. 1080p just looks so beautiful on this device. Uh, we're not gonna play the whole thing, but just want to show you guys. Uh, you know, this is the new Spider-Man trailer. What's happening here? Flip it. It looks really cool. So if you have, you know, a movie here, you can store a movie on the uh, SD card and uh, just, you know, have a little, you know, theater experience with this little device. And again, I'm not going to let the speakers play because of copyright, but trust me when I say this is by far one of the best um, speakers I've had yet. So, um, it's rocking, again, the Tegra, <laughs> creepy picture, rocking the Tegra uh, K1 processor, but it's still pretty snappy, so you guys can see. Um, and then, you know, like, you have stuff like Cody run into. Um, I mean, you can run stuff like Cody in this device, so if you're a big Cody user, if you're not, this runs it great. Um, I don't have a lot of add-ons, I only have the 1242415, um, Again, crazy name for that add-on, but um, it runs Kodi pretty well. Just go to new releases, see what they have available. Gosh. Again, um, I haven't been on Kodi in this device in a long time, and sometimes with Kodi, when you haven't been on, it takes longer to load, so... Um, I've used Kodi in this device several times, and I must say, it it runs really well. Uh, let's do, oh, John Wick 2. Let's check out Mr. Wick. Um, well, I don't know what kind of quality he's going to try and push on here. Um, they didn't give me an option to choose, so if it's 1080, it might take a little longer to load. Oh, um, let's resume. I don't want y'all to have to wait for that. Um, so streaming on this device, guys, is really good. Um, I, you know, would travel, store some movies in the SD card and watch, you know, movies on the go. Or, you know, if I have internet access, I can watch some Cody stuff, some Netflix stuff. It's, I don't want to sit here and wait for it. Um, but it works. I promise you guys it works. Um, well, when it wants to work. Again, when you try to demo something, it doesn't work the way you want it to. So let's try it one more time, just see if it... I was just watching it on here for before I um, recorded, so I know that it works. It's just taking a while. Anyway, I'm not going to... I want to wait, but I'm not going to wait. Um, so Cody on here works really well. Um, I have multiple stuff running right now in a way. My wife is upstairs streaming, game streaming the game down here and, um, recording and doing all this other stuff. So wow, this video is 18 minutes long so far. Um, let's see what else I have to show you guys. Um, again, Android games. Runs great on here. Uh, if you guys want, I can just, well, you saw a game stream. Android games run great on here. I can play games like Doom, game stream, PC games. Um, multimedia is great. Speakers are great. Again, battery life. My biggest two complaints about this device, well, three. First being battery life can be a little better. It's not that bad. But I remember like charging it and then traveling with it and you know like it lasts until like 8 p.m. and then I'll have to recharge it. It doesn't go all the way to you know 
11 to 12 uh, a.m. The Nexus 7 did a great job with battery life. This um, can definitely need, uh, use a little improvements. Not that it's not bad, but it can be better. And then my other complaint about this device is the power and the volume rock. I don't know if y'all can see that right here. It's like flushed in. It's hard to push. You know, at first when I got this device, I thought it was a defective unit because I felt like the keys were stuck in here, but it's not. It's just the way it's made. It's really flushed in. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, and then my third uh, complaint about this is I just wish that they'll update it with a uh, Tegra um, X1 chip because I feel like the NVIDIA Shield TV has a lot of games that does Android games that doesn't run on here yet because the ship just cannot handle it. Um, so if they uh, update the ship for this, I feel like we'll see better and higher quality games and more selection on this device. But those are my only three complaints, minor complaints. Um, overall, I love this device. If you can find one, I definitely say get it. I personally will pick this device over the Pixel C. Um, because of the form factor is small to hold in the hand. Um, the game feature being able to stream PC games, a uh, huge selection of you know Android games that are specifically designed for this tablet. Um, and then just overall, it's just a really small, fun package. And I really enjoyed this tablet. So I'm claiming this as the king of the Android tablets for 2017. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have um, other, uh, you know, recommendations, other tablets to suggest to the users of this channel, just uh, put in the comments and I definitely would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, the other thing I like about this, and if you guys know me really well, is it's vanilla Android. As you can see, there's not a lot of bloatware. Yeah, NVIDIA has the little, you know, folder here. Oh battery life. NVIDIA has the little folder here, but you're not seeing like any custom skins in this device. Um, and so I love that because it runs fluid the way Google intentionally designed the OS to run. All right, guys, if you like this, hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more coverage on the uh, NVIDIA Shield K1 tablet. Till next time, guys, peace.